Welcome to the video. This video is the introduction to our latest quadcopter building series. Now this is the quadcopter that we built in the very first series or series one of the quadcopter building for beginners. And this is a 250 class quadcopter, very traditional. It has lots of room in the inside, enough room for an FPV transmitter, a power distribution board, flight controller. We even added a camera to it at the front and we did all of the setup. So there's a ton of videos on this. There's actually nine in total that take you through every individual step and give you links to the pieces as we go through as well. Now this has become one of the most popular playlists on the entire channel and that is some feat considering the huge content we have around things like Tirana's, OpenTX, the NASA 32, the APM, the CC3D, the Seriously Pro and all the other series that we have on the channel. And this playlist where we made this little guy has become the most watched immediately out of everything else on the channel. That's a pretty clear indication to us here that this is the kind of thing that you as the subscribers and viewers are interested in. So what we've done is we're going to do another series and we're going to build another quadcopter, but one that's a little bit different from this. So if you like the look of this quadcopter rather than the one that we're about to take our gander at, then do go and have a look at that first series. Go and have a play with it because there are nine videos in there that will take you as a new pilot through each individual step so that you'll end up with something that you can fly and enjoy. So the next one that we're looking at doing is currently still in its kit form and it's all this stuff here. I'm going to move some of the shiny bags out of the way because they tend to uh, confuse the camera a lot. There we go. So this has come from gearbest.com so I need to say a very big thank you to Coley and the team at Gearbest for sending us this stuff for the second series. As you can see the next quadcopter that we're going to build is going to be very different. Now I'll put a link in the description down below so if you're interested in building this along with us you can go and get exactly the same kit. But what I'll do very quickly is show you what's in the box to give you an idea of what comes with it. Now at the moment the kit is available, it's on a bit of a discount as we're shooting the video so hopefully you'll be able to grab one of these before the price goes back up. So going back to the desk in the kit, we have all the standard pieces. So before we get to the box with the frame pieces in, uh, we have four motors. These are these wonderful little Emacs motors that we've used loads and loads on the channel before. It's an R2205 2300kV race spec motors. It's the ones with the pretty anodized red bottoms. Uh, I love these motors. I'm a big fan of the Emacs motors anyway. Um, and the fact that we're using these is great. Uh, they also come with just one set of props. So uh, if you want extras, you'll have to order them when you get all the kit. These are 5x4.5 uh, tri blades. Um, these with these motors will produce about 900 grams of thrust. So in total the entire craft will be pushing about three, uh, just over 3.6 kilograms of thrust and this is going to be a light little model. So this one is definitely going to be built for speed rather than the previous one which was built for uh, kind of performance and kind of a general FPV. Uh, talking about uh, motors and things. Here's the speed controllers. So these are little Opto 30 amp speed controllers, little B ones. Uh, we'll see how these perform. Uh, with those props, those motors are going to be pulling about 23, 24 amps. So this 30 amp setup uh, for the speed controller is going to be great. We're going to be able to run this on 4S, which will give us some really great performance. So we have four of those speed controllers as well, which we're definitely going to need. Uh, then we have our flight controller. It's, we're going to be using the same flight controller as we used previously. This is again another clone of the SP Racing F3, originally available from Seriously Pro. Uh, wherever you can, try and get hold of the original kit. Uh, it helps support the developers. Unfortunately, SP Racing F3 has been discontinued now, so it's the clones you tend to get hold of. So that's exactly the same flight controller as we looked at in the last series, so a lot of it will be familiar. However, we are going to set this one up with SBUS rather than PPM, because again, most of the people that like to fly quickly like SBUS because it's a little bit quicker than PPM to get the signals into the flight controller. 
and then we have a couple of other funky things as well. This one comes with an FPV transmitter. Now, the sad thing is, I'm not sure we're going to be able to use this because this is a 600 milliwatt uh, transmitter, which is way too big for the majority of places for you to fly legally. So we might end up having to swap this out for something else. But this does come with both an FPV transmitter. It comes with a little cheap and cheerful circular polarized antenna, but we'll talk about that when we get to that part of the video. And there's also a little camera in here as well. Looks like a reasonably cheap and cheerful little camera. We will give it a go when we put it all together and see how that performs. So the last thing we need to look at then is what comes in the frame kit. So let me move the rest of these pieces away. Here in the frame kit, we'll let's open this up. Uh, we have how you put it together. We have a little power distribution board that we're going to use to connect all of the uh, power up to. Also looks like it has um, a battery eliminator circuit, which we're going to need because we're using Optos speed controllers. We have the stands, battery strap, which is great. We didn't have that in the la last one. A couple of cable ties. Actually, this is quite a nice little kit. Uh, little feet to land on, camera mounts. We have the center plates. We have the arms. Wow, they they look like four, four and a half millimeters deep. So there's four of those. We have a central red anodized spar to put it all together. And we even have a battery lead, again, which we didn't have last time. And then last few bits and pieces, that looks like it's a maybe a foam thing to mount the flight controller on. Anyway, so using this stuff, we should be able to get quite a nice little model out of it. So make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned. This is going to be the quadcopter building for beginner series two. And this is the kit that we're going to create. Again, thanks to Coley and the team at Gearbest for popping this through for us to use as part of this series. The link's in the description if you want to get hold of the kit before we start to build. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.